in the name of the Father and of Mary must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Mary must be honored in my life every day. Amen. Mighty God, the ancient of days, we have come before thee. We ask you, Lord, in your mercy, wash us with your precious blood, that we shall be whiter than snow. Take not away from us, O God, the gift of the Holy Spirit, but restore unto us the joy of thy salvation. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the house of the faithful. And enkindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the Holy Spirit did install the house of the faithful, grant by gift of the same Spirit, who may be truly wise, and ever rejoice in consolation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And thou, O Lord, shall open our lips. And our tongues shall announce your praise. Incline unto our aid, O Lord. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, and he descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. M A R Y Mary. M A R Y Mary, Mary is your mother, M A R Y Mary, Mary is my mother, M A R Y Mary, Mary is our mother, M A R Y Mary, Mary is our mother, M A R Y. Mary. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries. My dear people of God, the Bible says in Psalm 73, verse 26, My flesh and my heart 
may fail. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. My dear people of God, the message is very clear. That though my flesh may fail me, though my heart may fail me, though friends may fail me, but God will never fail. And so the psalmist says that God is the strength of his heart. May that same God continue to be our God. May we trust in him. May we have a deep trust in our God, believing that he can do all things, that he will deliver us from that storm, that no matter the situation we are passing through, that God will see us through. Our God is a strong God. He is a God of strength and power yeah. and sovereignty. Amen. He is the Amen. most high God. Holy Father, what you did in the life of the psalmist, when you strengthened his flesh and strengthened his heart when they were failing him, may you, O oh Lord, strengthen us and be our strength now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Mary, 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 Mother of God. Mary, 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 Mother, pray for us. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery. The agony in the garden. The agony in the garden. My dear people of God, our Lord Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane. He was there praying for you and praying for me. And even now, he has invited us to be with him in the Gethsemane. Gethsemane is a place to pour our hearts to Jesus, to the Lord in prayer. It is a place of prayer. It is a place of storming heaven with the prayer. In this very mystery, we're asking God to send forth His Holy Spirit to strengthen us when life takes us to our own Gethsemane. When the darkness of the night appears to be stronger than the day. When it appears as if God is far away and as if heaven is silent. My dear people of God, even in that situation, no matter the darkness of that night, a morning of joy is coming forth to you. Amen. God is talking to us. God has a plan to vindicate us. Remember the trouble of Job. Job was an object of Satan's attack. In fact, intensive attack. Life took him to his own Gethsemane. The troubles of Job was not a funny one. A man who lost everything he had. In the depths of his pain, stripped of everything, his health, his family, his friends, his finances, everything, Job lost all. He faced financial crisis, health crisis, Everything was against Job. It was as if his life was ruined. But Job says something in Job chapter 19 verse 25. He said, this I know, that my Lord, my Redeemer, is with me. That my Redeemer, he lives. My dear friends in Christ, Job trusted God. When life brought challenges his way, Jesus trusted his father. When life brought challenges his way, 
What about you? What about me? In this first sort of mystery, Jesus is inviting us to do what Job did. And to do what he did by trusting heaven to intervene in our ugly situations. There is no way something can be so bad or so terrible that God cannot know what to do. Our God is a sovereign God. Every mm -hmm. storm bows before him. Mm -hmm. And so, my dear friends in Christ, no matter what you are going through now, there is redemption. And our Lord Jesus will bring that redemption. He's called Redeemer. Do you know that your Redeemer lives? Can you join Job to say, I know that my Redeemer lives? Remember that Job was not on earth when Jesus was revealed to us. Job lived so many years before the time of Jesus. So many centuries. However, he said, I know my Redeemer lived. How about you that know that Jesus is your Redeemer? Will it not be very encouraging and expected of us to repeat the words of Job, that I know that my Redeemer lives, that I know that Jesus lives, that even in this situation, I know that Jesus lives. My dear people of God, the metaphor of redemption includes the idea of being loosened from a bond, from a chain, from a yoke. It means being set free from captivity or slavery. All right? It means recovering something. It means getting back something that is lost. That's what it means. It means exchanging something in one's possession for something possessed by another. That's what it means. It means ransoming. Let me tell you, we'll find all these things in the work of Jesus in our lives. For Jesus has come and did a great exchange, took our troubles and gave us freedom. He broke the chains and gave us freedom. My dear people of God, let us trust in that God. In Prophet Isaiah's tradition, Yahweh is called Israel's Redeemer. That's what it's called. <laughs> Although most often, Redeemer is related to God's people. However, that is redemption being related often to God's people. However, the concept of, of God, Jesus, coming to our world, into our own personal lives, is a personified redemption or redeemer. He has come to bring redemption to our lives. Let us trust in Him. No matter the distress we we'll pass through, no matter the troubles we we'll pass through, may God see us through. May God deliver us. May God make a way for us Amen. where there is no way. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey, Mary, the flower of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey, Mary, the flower of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey, Mary, the flower of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, our loving Jesus, please forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. Amen. Mary must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Mary must be honored in my life every day. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. My dear people of God, Jesus was mercilessly scourged at the pillar. Oh, can you imagine the one who has come to redeem us being bound like a criminal and treated as such? My dear people of God, Jesus suffered a lot in the course of coming to redeem us. Jesus is our Redeemer because he redeemed mankind from the bondage of sin and from the devil and he paid the price of this redemption even giving his own body to be scourged by the enemies and as we will see later on in the fifth sort of mystery that eventually he died on a cross for the cause of our redemption Can you imagine that? He paid the ransom that we could not pay. He paid it through his obedience, through his suffering, through his death, through his resurrection. God has also called you. He has also called me. And there is a cost for obedience. There is a cost for following Jesus. And suffering is one of them. Child of God, your redemption is in Christ Jesus. St. Paul tells us, in him we have redemption. Through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished on us. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 to 8. Can you see that? As Jesus was scourged, blood was spilled everywhere. And that blood is the blood that forgives our sins. That blood is rich in grace and mercy. Amen. And so we are tapping into the blood that was spilling from the body of Jesus. Let our blood wash us in this moment. And show us mercy. Amen. Let me tell you something. You have been redeemed. For all time you have been redeemed. So don't fear. Because Jesus who redeemed you. Will complete in your life. The very reason why he died for you. And that work is a finished work on Calvary. The finished work of Jesus. 
We tap into that finished work of Jesus when we become people of prayer. When we seek his face day and night. When we become his children, living his life. Oh, Jesus. Holy Father, in this very mystery, we ask you, even as you have been scourged, may you break the hands that are scourging your children. May you redeem us mm -hmm. from captivity. In this mystery, you were bound in chains like a slave. But you did all this so that through your suffering, we shall be redeemed. But the Father, many of your children have been bound in chains. Many of your children are in chains. The enemies have bound your children. Father, in this mystery, where you are bound like a criminal, Father, may you set free those who are being bound, who are in captivity, who are in chains. Father, by the power of your precious blood, break that chain even now. Destroy every spirit limiting us, O oh God. Father, come and redeem your people again. Galatians 3, verse 13 tells us that Jesus, our Redeemer, has redeemed us from the cost of the law. Father, deliver and redeem your people again. O oh God, touch your people in a special way. Oh, Jesus. You are our Redeemer, Lord. Cleanse every leper, Lord. Open the eyes of the blind in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, let those who are lame begin to walk even now. Let those who are having very terrible problems begin to receive solutions now. People mm -hmm. with immigration problems, Father, may you touch them now. Many of your children have been scourged with the secrets. Father, even this mystery that you have scourged at the pillar, May you scourge out of their lives that sickness. Father, Amen. touch your people again. Father, come and do something new. Oh, Jesus. Through your blood, we have the power to overcome the enemy. And so, Father, we tap into the power of your blood. We stand on authority that is in the blood of Jesus to bind every evil bondage of sin, of sickness, of poverty, of barrenness, of a matrimonial problems or marital problems. Father, in this ministry, may you cripple such spirits in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, redeem your people. Redeem us, O oh Lord, from the powers of darkness. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15, and the Bible says, Having disarmed the principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Father, even in this moment of prayer, may you disarm every power of darkness against your children. Mm -hmm. Father, disarm every principality, every power, every occultic hand against your children. Mm -hmm. Father, may you disarm them and cripple their activities. We thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you for giving us deliverance. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you, Holy Father. To you be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us in us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, our loving Jesus. Please forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in of your mercy. Amen. Mother Mary, Mother Melonia. I love you, Mother Mary, Mother Melonia, we love you. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. My dear friends, Jesus was crowned with thorns. Oh, can you imagine the pains that Jesus went through? And yet, he did not give up. He placed his hope in his Father. Where do you place your hope? Jesus did not get discouraged. Let us likewise not get discouraged. But oftentimes, we easily grow discouraged when trials and setbacks come our way. And we even sometimes we begin to doubt whether God is actually with us. And we often measure this or think this way because we wonder, why, why would God be with me and I will pass through all these situations? Why would he not do something about it? Can you imagine Jesus thinking that way and then giving up? What it means is that there wouldn't have been salvation for you and for me. It means that the whole world would have been in captivity. My dear friends in Christ, in this ministry we are asking our Lord Jesus to give us the strength to stand strong. Even when the storm is heavy. Even when the enemy comes with a heavy and painful crown on our head that is bringing so much pain. May we trust in the Lord. Amen. Even when the weight of troubles are so much on us, pressing hard on us, may we continue to trust in the Lord. And surely, those who trust in the Lord will never be moved. Psalm 1, 2, 5, verse 1. Our Blessed Mother, intercede for us and teach us how to trust in your Son, no matter what we go through. May we remain strong in our hope in Him. For hope in Him never fails. Romans 5, verse 5. And a hope in Christ will never put us to shame. Father, we thank you. Even this mystery, we know that you have taken control of every power of the enemy attacking your children. We know that you have given us the courage, the, the grace to stand strong. 
Even when the enemies are buffeting us with their blows, Father, help us to remain strong, knowing fully well that you are with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your one Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, our loving Jesus. Please forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most of your mercy. Amen. I have a wonderful mother. You have a wonderful mama. I have a wonderful mother. Mother Mary, Virgin Maria. I have a wonderful mother. You have a wonderful mama. We have a wonderful mother. Mother Mary, Virgin Maria. Mary. Mary. Mother Mary. Virgin Mary, you are wonderful. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. My dear friends in Christ, Jesus carried the cross. He has also invited us to carry our cross and follow him. In Amen. other words, Following Christ is at a cost of carrying the cross. That is to say, there is cause for following and serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus never hesitated to tell his disciples what they might expect if they followed and served him. Here Jesus said to his disciples, this is my task for you. At this 
and at its grimmest and worst. Do you accept it? He was asking them that question. Do you accept my teaching? Do you accept the cross I'm giving to you? That was the question of Jesus to the disciples. But that's the same question he's asking us today. This is not the world's way of offering glory and honor and success. After the defeat of the war, there's a war called the War of Dunkirk uh, during the World War II. And uh, Britain got victory in that war. And the church here proclaimed and said, blood and toil and sweat and tears, it has costed us. That was the cost of this victory. Following Jesus also has some costs. Suffering for the name of Jesus is not the message we prefer to hear when the Lord commissioned his people. Nevertheless, we have to follow him. We have to lay down our life for him, for even our neighbors. Jesus laid down his life for us. So we need to follow him. The Lord gives us sufficient grace to follow him. And to bear our cross with courage and with hope. Do you know the joy and the victory? Of the cross of Jesus Christ. Holy Father, we thank you. We give ourselves to you, ask you, help us to follow you, to love you, and to carry our cross and follow you. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be thy earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in our now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us, Amen. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hey, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners, Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hey, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail hey, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail hey, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O our loving Jesus. 
please forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in of your mercy. Amen. Mother Mary, Mother Melonia, we love you. Mother Mary, Mother Melonia, we love you. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion of Jesus on the cross. My dear people of God, Jesus is crucified on the cross. On the cross, he gave us victory over the enemy. And on the cross, he defeated the enemy. And even in this point, in this mystery, we embrace the victory that Jesus has given to us on the cross. We declare victory over the forces of the enemy, over the plots of the evil ones, and all their mandates against us. We decree that he who defeated them on the cross will continue to fight our battles as we tap into that victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, our loving Jesus. Please forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most of your mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Some then most gracious advocate your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, please show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus Christ, 
or clement or loving or sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary Immaculate, Mediatrix of all graces. Pray for us. Saint Michael and Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. All you heavenly powers, Mary's legion of angels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Peter and Paul. Pray for us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Precious blood of Jesus Christ, cover this prayer. We cover unborn children with the blood of Jesus. Precious blood of Jesus Christ, cover unborn children. We cover the next prayer line with the blood of Jesus. Precious blood of Jesus Christ, cover the next prayer line. We fly to your patronage. O Holy Mother of God, please despise not our prayers in our necessities, but deliver us from every danger, whoever glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.